So in today's video, we're looking at some of the most rugged cases for the iPad 10th generation. I'll leave links with current pricing and more information down in the description below. So let's go ahead and get started. This one is the Poetic Revolution, comes in three different colors, pink and gray, blue and gray, and the one shown here is black. As you can see, this one's a hybrid case, nice and hard plastic there on the back. Then you've got a softer TPU material on the inside and around the edges. Also has military standard drop protection. As you can see, it has a built-in screen protector as well. Once you snap on the screen protector, once you get one side started, you just kind of work your way around until the rest snaps into place. You can see the Apple Pencil snaps right in here along the edge. You can see the volume buttons are covered by the TPU material. Nice cutout on the back for the rear facing camera. And there's a cutout for the Touch ID there on the power button as well. You've got a flap there for the charging port. Nice cutouts on each side for the speakers. Feels like it's pretty easy to unlock the iPad. And the volume buttons work really good on here as well. Of course, pretty nice screen protection. The built-in screen protector, it does add a little bit more grip just when moving around the software, but it still seems to work pretty good. Pretty simple design here. You've got a built-in kickstand there right in the center on the back. You've got two different angles there when in the stand position. One's at more of a 45 degree angle, and then when you flip it around, a little bit lower. If you're looking for a rugged case, there's not gonna be many cases out there that offer more protection than this one from Poetic. I thought I would also throw in this folio case, the Symmetry Folio Series by Otterbox. Comes in three different colors, Coastal Evening, Ruby Sky, and the one shown here is Starry Night. You can see this one is clear on the back and then a softer TPU material around the edges. If you can get one side started on this and then work your way around, it is gonna be a really snug fit on this. But once you get it in there, actually a really nice fit here. Inside of the front cover, nice soft felt material. You've also got a strap here to kind of hold everything together. So it has the auto sleep and wake function. Nice oversized cut out there for the charging port and speakers on each side. Really simple to use the touch ID on here. Volume buttons seem to work pretty good on here as well. They do feel a little bit grippier than some of the other TPU materials out there. They also have this little elastic holder here for the Apple Pencil. Seems like a pretty simple and easy way to attach your Apple Pencil. Pretty nice design here on the back, a little bit of branding. Then you've got two different angles here in the stand position, almost straight up and down, and then more of a typing or drawing position as well. Definitely one of the better quality folio cases that you can get for the iPad and fairly rugged as well. You may want to consider this one by Soak. It actually comes in eight different colors. The one shown here is black, but it also comes in red, blue, purple, mint green, light blue, violet, and yellow. Sort of a hybrid design on this one. Hard plastic shell with a softer, more flexible TPU material around the edges. And then it also has a built-in screen protector. Should just snap right onto the iPad. Then just work your way around the edges. Everything should snap right into place. Also has a built-in stand here on the back and a spot here on the top to hold the Apple Pencil. Sort of two different angles to choose from with the built-in kickstand. You can see the volume buttons are covered by the TPU material, but they stick out plenty, so they're easy to access without really looking for them. So pretty easy to use the Touch ID, really easy to use the volume buttons on here. Also has some nice screen protection there around the edges. Has a flap on the bottom for the charging port. With the built-in screen protector, you are gonna notice it's on there. Sort of gives it a little bit extra grip as you move around. You can sort of see how thick the case is there on the back around the cutout for the camera. Overall, just a really nice rugged case from Soak. Now this kid's case by Graphobies does actually look like a Spider-Man theme, but you can get several other colors like yellow, purple, rose pink, navy blue, green, black, army green, several other options. But this is a nice and rugged shockproof case. You've got three different parts here that kind of snap together. You've got a super soft silicone here for the back. 
Then you got two hard plastic pieces that snap together. The iPad sort of goes over to the left hand side of the back plastic. And then it should just snap right together. Then it's just a matter of sliding the silicone around the edges. And it seems to snap together pretty easily on this one. You can see on the back they've got a cutout so you can see the Apple logo. You can sort of see how thick the case is there around the camera cutout. You've also got a built in kickstand here as well. So you can put it in vertical or landscape mode. Also has a spot here along the side for the Apple Pencil. Pretty nice lip around the screen. I don't think you'll have to worry about this one getting scratched up. Nice oversized cutouts for the charging port and speakers. To me, the volume buttons could stick out just a little bit more, but they seem to work really good. The power button has a nice opening for the Touch ID as well. Easily some of the clickiest volume buttons. So yeah, pretty nice affordable case here. And like I said, if you don't like the Spider-Man look, like I said, there's a lot of other colors to choose from. Just a really nice affordable rugged case for the iPad 10. And I really like the grip on the silicone, much better than the harder TPU material in my opinion. Now the most rugged case that I've tested for the iPad 10 is going to be this one by Z2 Top. Only comes in black as far as I know. It's got rugged drop protection, shock proof. It also has a 360 degree rotatable kickstand and it's got a built in pencil holder. This one comes in two different pieces here. You've got a plastic frame that kind of goes around the screen and then a super rigid feels like a hard plastic shell covered by a soft uh, almost silicone like material. Really simple to just snap the plastic frame right onto the iPad. And then it should just slide right into the back. Then you just kind of work your way around the edges so the silicone part snaps over top of the plastic frame. They also throw in a shoulder strap for this one. It's gonna add some weight to the iPad, but it's got really nice grip. You can see the volume buttons are covered by that silicone material. The silicone material around the power button seems really thick on this one, but it's still easy to unlock. Then probably some of the easiest volume buttons to use. Nice little spot here on the side for the Apple Pencil. And it's super simple to put the Apple Pencil in here. So even though it doesn't have a built-in screen protector, nice tapered edge around the screen. So it's got really nice screen protection. If you would put this face down, you shouldn't have to worry about getting it all scratched up. Also has some nice texture here on the back of the case. As you can see though, one downside, it is gonna attract dust, lint, stuff like that. You can see it's got a Velcro hand strap on the back. Makes it really easy to use this iPad one-handed and you can rotate it 360 degrees. Plus it's got a built-in kickstand as well. That's gonna give you two different angles to choose from. Nice cutout there on the back for the rear facing camera. And then just big enough cutout there on the bottom for the charging port. Overall just a really nice rugged case by Z2 Top. This is the K-Spot silicone case by Fenty. Comes in two different colors, marine blue and the one shown here is black. Now this one is all silicones, so it's got a lot of flex in it, but it has a lot of grip on it as well. And I'm really liking along the edges, you've got these little bumps that stick out, that gives it even more grip. Pretty simple to slide the iPad right in. You should be able to just stretch the silicone a little bit to make it easier. Cool thing about this one, it's got slots on each end for the speakers, so they sort of make them face towards you. Cutouts here for the front facing camera and sensors. Really thick screen protection on this one. Oversized cutout for the rear facing camera. Volume buttons are covered by the silicone material, but they actually seem to work really good and are nice and clicky. And since the power button isn't covered, really easy to unlock. Nice honeycomb pattern there on the back. Again, this thing just has extra grip all over it. You've also got an oversized cutout there on the bottom for the charging port. Easily the most grip out of any case that I've tested. And overall, just a really nice way to add extra protection for your iPad 10. 
So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.